It being 7 p.m., and I have to on the Vice Chair of the Conservation Commission, running the meeting in place of our chairperson not with us anymore. I would go for the hearings at 7 p.m. First up will be new business, follow on results of the 7 7 21 Select Board meeting, Commission Quorum and Calculations to continue hearings and RBAs. Whether the options for members who do not attend all the hearings or public hearings, and how does this affect the agenda? So, town council? Input? Yeah. Uh, that, that agenda item was a question for town council. So, um, with respect to hearings, um, a quorum of a board must attend every hearing unless the town has adopted chapter 39 section 23d which would allow you uh one uh a board member to miss one session and one session only then to review a video or a transcript of the hearing that was missed and certify that you have done so and that you were up to speed um, i understand from speaking both with carolyn and um and your conservation agent that um, you have not, the town has not accepted chapter 39, section 23D. Therefore, if, if a quorum of the board has failed to attend every hearing, then you are going to have, a, you're not going to be able to make a determination on those uh, requests for determination and or and and what would have to happen is you'd have to re-notice and try to get a quorum there. Um, hopefully you could, you could redo it in just one session, get a quorum there, and make your votes. So the first item up is request of determination of applicability, public hearing continue for hiring rule, seeks to install a seasonal floating dock on the Connecticut River at 99 Acton Peter Road, now 4A, parcel 25. This was continued previously. Uh, a couple times. The question I have, Janice, is did we have, did we have a quorum for this, according to what Tom Thompson saying? No, we had three out of the present four um, members present for um, our game's um, public meeting. So that was, so I, I told her what I thought it was going to be, that she was going to have to be published, so that I'd get back to her after the, um, the meeting tonight. So. You just clarified again that it, 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 it pertains to request for determinations as well as notices of intent, correct? A any hearing that you, that, you, that you have, yes. Okay. So we have to notify the applicant. Do they have to formally withdraw it, or do they just tell them they have to re reapply and do a, a publication and everything, et cetera, again? I, I think you would just have them reapply. Um, you, they, they can't formally withdraw, but a reapplication would be the application that you're going to be hearing. So there's no reason, we don't have to do a motion to do that, correct? Oh, that's correct. You certainly let the applicant know. Um, so, um, is the applicant there? No. no. She was going to ask to continue because her plans weren't ready. Um, so, at this point, would we? So we wouldn't do a vote to continue her public meeting. We would, what, what is the vocabulary? What should we say about that? Sure, sure. You, you, no, you wouldn't want to continue it because you run into the same problem. Now let me ask you a question. Have you taken any evidence on any of those? Or did you just merely open it and continue it? No, we had a full presentation the first time and then we continued it twice for this one and the next one. Um, I think what you should do is take no action, notify the applicant, and ask them how they want to proceed. Okay. I, I suppose knowing that there is a procedural defect, that applicant could still ask to proceed. Okay. <clears throat> so the applicant requested the termination of the building public meeting continue for next amp, seeks to modify solar rate for energy storage. By installing concrete pads and poles and buffer zone off Westgate Center Drive, down 10 D, parcel 29 as well. These two hearings will be basically terminated and they'll have to reapply. Is that correct? Is that 
good way to put it or okay way to put it? Well, uh, it's, it's an okay way to put it. I, I would say that what we'll basically, you'll, you'll, give the, you'll have to let the, give the applicant the option yes. to, and let them know that there's a procedural defect. So um, any decision that you make would be subject to a challenge. Okay. And a very likely a successful challenge. If we proceeded. If you proceeded, okay. you need to let the applicant know. Okay. So we'll notify them. The next regular hearing is August 10th, second Tuesday, and they could probably be advertised, resubmit the materials prior to that time. It would be taken up the next week. Okay. I'm going to move things around a little bit. I want to move a couple things ahead of the mass DOT because that's going to be quite a lengthy process. So I'm going to go over the next is the notice of intent public hearing. H. Price seeks to install a seasonal floating dock on the Shenanigan River at 139 Hockham Road, Map 2, Department 27. And no. the applicant is present? Yes. And representative? Hello, everyone. Uh, Ryan Nelson from Harlow Vector Associates. <laughs>
the idea is that either it would be pulled manually or I would get some kind of winch to bring it up the bank and then um, deliver it over to the carport bank. Uh, the, the, the actual dock in the water, how large is that done? The that type of water would be physical dock. So, what was the question? Sorry. How big is it? How big is it? It's a four foot walkway going down. Um, so, the total square footage for the dock, including the walkway and the platform at the end, is 336 square feet. The total length from beginning to end is 60 feet. The, 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 the dock looks like a box or a table. Yep. What are the dimensions of that? The platform at the end is 12 feet by 12 feet. And are those two separate sections? Yes. So they're 6 by 12 each? Correct. Now that's cable off in two places, right? At the top of the dock and then the middle of the right. walkway, right? Right. One close to the shore and then one, one at the end. Is that, the, is that the way the last stop was? I hadn't seen the previous stop, but I think there was a prior cable right to the tree. There was a cable to a tree and the dock went out. Like this, like a like a football. Yeah, U shaped. And there was actually only a cable attached at this point to a tree here. So you're not gonna have U shaped dock, you're gonna be parking parallel to the outside of the dock? That's correct. And then there's a, a second helical pier uh, oh. downstream. You don't want to have any results more than south of the You can get ahead of the south of the river. You want any jobs in your box in the river. Another minor component of this project is there is an old, uh, approximately 60 inch diameter condo tree on the bank. Was the same tree that the previous cable was installed on. Um, that tree is completely dead, Janice, and I saw that on the last site visit. And it's shedding large limbs in this area that are falling on the beach. So we're proposing to remove that as well. The tree would be cut in some of the place.
So that could be considered possibly some mitigation for the impact of the walkway to the dock? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't catch what you said, Jim. When you track as you eliminate the major species, can you take as remediation of the impact of the walkway in the wetland zone? I'm sorry. It's a good thing. Great. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Any other board members have any questions or comments? As long as the cable's strong enough to support that, you know, you want to use a heavy enough cable. Mm -hmm. Wow, good. Yeah, are you buying a new ticket for your own use or are you renting out the dock? My own use. Okay. Do we uh, have any other wish to make a motion? I'll make one. Before I make a motion? We have a second. Okay, to, to close the hearing yeah. and approve the... Close the hearing subject to conditions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to discuss... I'll second. I'll second the motion. Any further discussion? Well, no, we are now open for discussion. Yeah. And just uh, go over the conditions quickly. What do you suggest, Janice? Uh, one of the issues is probably the easiest things. I made a couple copies of the um, conditions that we used most recently for arrival. So um, some of them may not apply. Um, the first one is just that it won't require the removal of any trees from the bank, which is true, you know. Mm -hmm. And no part of the tagging system will be tied to trees. Any change has to get approval from the Conservation Commission first. Mm -hmm. um, if the work does not commence within the five-year period of the Natural Heritage Determination Letter, then they have to get a new letter from Natural Heritage and submit it to, to us. Um, for some reason, there's a delay. Um, only for seasonal use must be removed and stored out of water and off the bank for the winter. And we're talking about basically about 150 feet back. Um, and let's say that thing shall provide the Conservation Commission with a copy of the approved Chapter 91 permit. Um, well, they haven't gotten the permit. And the dog shall have a sign out with ownership or location information as required by the DEP Chapter 91 license. Put that in just to, I'm not sure what the Chapter 91 license requires. It's just a number um, or not. We're just starting on that, trying to be able to identify the docs that are up and down. But we'll, we'll work it out you know, for that. Um, and then she'll notify us when the work is completed for our final inspection. Yeah. Yeah, if there's anything else that people want to add, mm -hmm. I guess what we could do is I'll mention the, the one dead tree removal, the large cottonwood, and then also um, branches trimmed, and then your um, you also approved the rip sweep mm -hmm. base of control. Okay. Okay. Anything else that we wanted to add to that? Okay. So we have any disagreements? Uh, All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, passes four to zero. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you everyone. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Thank you. We'll have to report over to the cooking structures. Oh my gosh, I can't hear you hearing all the The order condition will come out of the county fashion about the proposal to zero to two weeks. Okay. I'll get it to you. It'll probably be a week itself. Sure. Currently, I'm the vice 
chairman from DAP. Any discussion? Who wants to be chair? I knew you'd all be excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we know what's going to be happening with the board of selectmen. Are they going to change their minds again, or what? That uh, issue that we have to operate. We have to operate with what we're currently going through. Okay. And we'll have to just take it up and look at point of something change. Okay. Uh, currently, I just wish to stay as vice chair. I don't wish to be chair.
the uh, a certificate of inspection from the town happy building after that that was um, completed as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the addition. So he seems to be all, he's got his permits on all of this. So he'd like to get these certificates um, approved, signed, or, or whatever, so he can complete the sale of his house. Mm -hmm. Any discussion from the other board members on how they feel about this? No. no. Does someone want to make a motion to uh, issue three certificates of compliance? Only one. Who did that? Gordon. Gordon? Gordon. 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 <laughs> it works. It works. Okay. I'm not working it. Here, try to give him this one.
complaints that um, they had heard, and um, I have not received them yet, but I understand that there are some that are being um, submitted that we'll be able to talk about at the next meeting. Carolyn, did you want to? Yeah, what, <coughs> we're gathering all of the ones that we're getting, um, and both with all different perspectives, but we're trying to get all of them all at once and then send them out to you, not piecemeal it, piecemeal mm -hmm. each of them. Do you have a time frame, timeline? Um, I would think by tomorrow, well, I'm hoping that we will. It seems like there was a big influx the last two days, and so we're just trying to breathe when I'm literally, there was just so many coming in today with, all, again, all different perspectives. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just trying to compile all of that, and I would say, I would say by tomorrow afternoon we'll be able to get that to everybody. Is it these signed the complaints do you know or you don't know yet you haven't seen? The ones that we're getting now <coughs> we are just compiling the ones that we're getting recently. We've done past research and we're not finding any. Um, so we're just we're, we're responding um, with the ones that we're getting right now. Okay. And most of them are coming right to uh, the select board members, but they're also CC, myself, and Jennifer, and those are the ones that we're for. Okay. Commission vacancies? We have two. We have one member, so we have six, and there are four of us I'm down here. Two. I guess we're down to two. Yes. Yeah. And I know the selectman has issued the Request for people that would be interested in serving, I believe it's about July 27th. Yeah, I think it's 23rd, isn't it? We're going to get them by the 23rd and, and then forward them. 23rd, and then we're going to forward them to you so that you can review those. We, a, we have asked for a le specifically a letter of interest with qualifications. Okay, so hopefully, if anyone out there is listening and interested, that um, they'll be able to get something in time. Um, yeah, I guess because of the signs, we can wait. Yes. Violations of follow-up. Um, I'm in the process of doing some um, violations and follow-up, and um, I think at this point, what I'm going to do is there are some, um, not everybody, but there are some people that are um, we've been looking at for a while that don't have permits and they have a lot of campers. Um, or have actual structures in the riverfront, inner riverfront that were permitted. Uh, so I talked with um, Tom Quinlan today, and I think he and I are both going to, we'll send out different kinds of letters, but I'm going to send them letters just letting them know that they need to go through the permitting process. So that was the first step is just to, to let them know that we're aware that they're there and that they, they need to, to come to us. So um, probably three or four of them. This point, I'm just slowly working with people. Don't tell them for of campers, the campers at the beginning. <laughs> yes, I think uh, Tom said, I think that they only had three permit requests, I think is what he said so far. So, mm -hmm. not even all the people that um, came to us have gone for the town permit yet. How many uh, are you allowed to camp down the river right now, Gary? I, have, I don't leave. I don't leave the farm, so I don't know. <laughs> Yes, they're going to say the same thing. Uh, bills and correspondence, I want to get that done because I know we want to get paid. Yes. I would like to. So um, I have my um, hours for June. And eventually I have some hours for July, but not yet. So it came to um, 103.75 hours. I would love to get way under that again, but I don't think that's going to happen. I had to split it. I used up what was left of the um, last fiscal year's money for the Conservation Commission um, hours, professional services, and that was 65.5 hours for that. And then the other 38 and quarter hours I took from the wetland filing fee account, which is the one that the notice of intent fees mm -hmm. go into and can be used. Now, uh, procedurally, do I have to ask for a motion to approve this for the other board members? Mm -hmm. I, I, we've been doing that, and yep. even though I've been told that, that we may not need to, but until we get definite clarification, I think it's just as So I'm going to make a motion. I can't make a motion. I have somebody to make a motion, right? About uh, pay, paying Janet? Yes. Okay, I think I move that we uh, pay Janet Stone for her submitted uh, bill that she got. Do you have a second? Second. 
Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you. All those in Pass that around. All sure. uh, Okay, and um, then the other thing is the. Yes. Um, oh, oh, that's right. It's only it's only very little to sign it. You should just cut out these pretty advice or something here. Um, the other thing was the dues for MACC. Mm -hmm. And there's dues no matter how many commissioners you have, it's the same dues <coughs> by commission. So I'd like to get that in because we've been tapping into MACC quite a bit. I've been calling them and asking them for advice on things like the, the quorums and um, and just a lot of the stuff we've been running into, um, procedures and all. So, um, and it, it, this is a, a yearly, yearly bill and it's the same as last year. They decided not to raise the fees in the time of COVID or whatever, so. So it's 300 bucks. It's 293 and, and that would come out of the, um, the new budget that we have. We have our dues and memberships um, amount in there every year and that's where we come from. So we need a motion to do that for the long term? I think so, oh. yeah. Looking okay, for a motion to pay the MACC dues? So moved. There was a second. Floor in the second. No discussion hearing any? All those in favor? Aye. Thank you. All right, so I think I'll leave you have to sign them here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So thank you now to the people in this get those things out of the way because those are important. I wanted to get that way your project's rather large. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have to determine how we're going to proceed with this. What's the DOT proposal? We've had all kinds of different opinions whether we had to withdraw it before the town council and start back over again. Mr. Chairman? Yes. I, I hate to interrupt you, but I was just sent a, a, an email after you and I had discussed. Um, and I understand that the town has, in fact, accepted 39 section um, 23D. So there is the ability for a member, if you only missed once one of the hearings, to review the video or a transcript of the media of the hearing and then certify that they've done so and they can continue and participate in the hearing. Um, I still believe, and I may be mistaken, I think your agent could certainly enlighten me on this, that notwithstanding your ability to do that, that at least two members, one member missed more than one hearing, so they would not be able to avail themselves of this section, and one member missed one meeting. Uh, but be that as it may, you would not have a quorum because there's only four of you minus one, you'd only have three. Right. So, um, but I did want to make that quick clarification to you. And with respect to the RDAs that you continued earlier, we will have to review who was there and perhaps make a, 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 an additional determination um, now that I've gotten this new information. I, I apologize, um, but I, I, we looked and, and tried to find that. It just brought to my attention just now. So what I'm hearing from you, it doesn't really matter. The ability have to start over again in the presentation? It, it, yes, for, for I think for Mass DOT, and I, and I believe I've gone over this with your agent, but correct me if I'm wrong, one member missed every every hearing so far. Which so is now you're down to three. Yeah. And three is not a quorum of six. I'm talking about Mr. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you. Jim, Mr. Chairman, if I may speak yes. to that. Um, can I read a, a quotation from a MACC newsletter? Sure. And can I you use the microphone? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, so just to identify myself, Sam Campbell, Greenman Peterson, Inc. What I'm going to read, thank you. Reading now is an excerpt from a Massachusetts Association of Conservation Commission's newsletter that was published in March April of 2020. Uh, the issue was focused on frequently asked questions by commissioners centered on quorums as well as quantum of vote. Uh, so the excerpt reads, once the quorum to act is established, we turn our attention to what constitutes a quantum of vote for a commission. That is how many members are needed to vote to issue or deny a wetlands permit, again, dealing here with the WPA, 
your bylaw or ordinance may set different or more stringent provisions. These are two different questions. Once you have a quorum present, the rules for municipal boards is that what is required for approval is a majority of those actually voting, not of those present at the meeting, i.e. abstentions are generally not counted in votes of other municipal boards. So based on that information, now knowing that the Mullins rule has been adopted, um, Mr. Chair, it's my understanding that you missed one meeting, so you would be able to watch the recording, certify that you did that, and you would be able to vote on our project at the next hearing, which would mean there would be three members of the four voting, which is a majority, which is my understanding establishes the quantum of vote. Except, let me just go on top. The next sentence is for conservation commissions, however, the WPA regulations are actually more stringent with respect to quantum of vote because under 310 CMR 1052, an action taken by the Conservation Commission must be taken by more than half the members present at a meeting of at least a quorum. So a quorum of four or three would be greater than half. Uh, again, I would be curious to hear council's yeah. opinion on this, but I think this yeah. establishes an avenue for us to continue the review and, and for you all to vote on this project. That, that, that's not how I read it, but you're the applicant and you know what you're up against and if you want the board to move forward, and you want that quantum of vote, you'll have to know that in the event that it's challenged, um, that that it's that there is a, it, it would be something to challenge and you may very well lose your permit based on that. But if you want to move forward with that, uh, with, with your uh, determination, uh, members, of the, uh, members of the commission, it's the applicant's uh, application, you can't force them to withdraw it and if they want to move forward and have a vote and, and let the chips fall where they may after, then I suggest you can do it. So my follow-up to that is then the action couldn't be taken tonight because the chairman has not yet watched the recording and certified that he has done so. So this would need to happen at a, a following meeting. Right. So I understand that there were also uh, uh, comments by our peer reviewer that had not been addressed yet. So I don't believe that even to the extent that you were going to make a determine that, that they that you have the, the necessary quantum of vote, um, that there wasn't going to be a determination tonight because some of those questions had not been answered. Uh, we have addressed all of those comments, unfortunately, due to the time window that we had to address them. They have not been provided to the commission yet. Uh, that being said, though, it is our understanding that all hearings are continued with the consent of the applicant, so even if no determination were to be made, we could request that the hearing be closed. You can, you can request that the, the hearing be closed, and they could deny your application for failing to, to meet the requirements as outlined by the um, peer review. Absolutely, we understand that, but that also gives us then the ability to appeal that decision. To a, that's, that is correct, the paper superseding order conditions. Um, and you know you're the state you can and i'm sure you listen to counsel um you can make your determination as to how you want to proceed i had outlined earlier in an email to the town what i thought would be the quickest uh way to get through the um to get through the conservation commission process but again you are right um the continuances are at the at the assent and the request of the applicant if you say no we have 21 days to issue a decision Okay, so now my follow-up question to the commission this evening is, without two members, so we only have two members that are capable of voting on this project, you're not eligible to move to continue this hearing. Correct. So what is the next step? I don't know, Captain. I guess I'm unsure of what you what you what what you just asked. Um, they could continue a hearing. They, there's there's a number. Uh, you know, one of the few things that, a, frankly, that, that a non quorum could do is, is to continue a hearing. But there's a quorum of the board here, so they could continue the hearing. Um, the, the the issue is going to become whether or not um, the quantum of vote uh, is sufficient. Um, if they approve or deny your application, obviously, if it was denied, you would just move, or, or if you uh, determined that you wanted to um, not allow a continuance, the hearing would close and they would have 
21 days to make a decision. Um, and if they didn't, um, it would go up to DEP. So you're saying the commission does have the power to close the hearing tonight? I think they do. Yep. If you want to close. Uh, if we could take just a moment to confer mm -hmm. with our team. Yeah. Thank you. Ready. Deliberate, and, you know, the board can certainly have a lot more discussions after that. They deliberate, 
and then we draft the decision. So um, I, su I su suggest that you could leave the hearing open for another seven days and in order for them to provide you with additional comments. Um, but again, that's not the norm. And, and it may be subject to challenge. There may be some people out there in the public that say, hey, look, um, I didn't get an opportunity to review what was that and if I, what, was, uh, what the additional comments were. And if I had, I would have gone up and I would have said something to the Conservation Commission. So if we were to close the hearing tonight, as they want us to do, can anybody else appeal? I mean, what's the ramification of that? We I mean, just talked about if we continued it, we questioned it, they could appeal it. People, anyone. Is that the same if we close it tonight? They could still appeal it, or is it just they have to appeal to the DEP? There's a superseding order of conditions that will go up that, that ultimately would go to DEP. There could be some neighbors that, that also or some abutters that do appeal as well. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, once, once it's closed and once a decision is rendered, um, then that starts the appeal period for whomever uh, is, uh, has standing to appeal. So the mere fact that you close it right now tonight doesn't automatically start the appeal process. Um, the way I understand it, or the way I, the, the conceptually, the way you understand it is that you close the hearing tonight, um, you have 21 days to issue a decision. You can close the hearing tonight, schedule a meeting in a week, um, deliberate on all the evidence, um, make your decision, draft or draft up a decision, and then accept it at, a, at another meeting, um, all within 21 days. You can close the hearing right now, you can deliberate, and um, we can draft up a decision. You can talk about conditions that you want, we can draft up a decision, and then the board can vote on, that, um, on the, uh, the uh, order of conditions with uh, conditions um, at its next meeting, providing that meeting within 21 days. I, I would just say, as a staff position, not as a CONCOM member, we haven't even seen the revised plans. We haven't seen any responses to the peer reviews. We consider this a work in progress, and I would not recommend to the commission to agree to accept plans that we have not even seen. I just can't fathom doing that. Even on a small project, we don't do that. Never mind on a big project. We understand that. Uh, again, we're working with very tight time windows. We didn't receive our comments until Thursday and Saturday morning of last week. Um, after another consultation with our team, the question is, is the commission willing or amenable to hold a special hearing in seven days? And what would be the purpose, what would you be planning on? We would provide the revised plans, response to comments, and supporting documentation that were um, raised during the peer review. And at that point, having provided you with those materials at a public hearing or prior to a public hearing, we would then request to close to help um, reduce any potential for you know public um, appeal. So this still is dependent upon your interpretation that three commission members would be enough, not four, to be considered um, having attended the necessary meetings and to be a legal form for a decision making. Correct. Question for counsel. Uh, three out of four is a quorum for a board of four. Supposedly, sure. we're now a board of six, but we really don't have six members. We have two that resign. But you have a, it's a, it's it's the board is a six or the the, the commission is a six member commission. You still consider six. Even though, you, even though you don't have them there, it's a six member commission. In my opinion, you need four for a quorum. And I think that's what he's arguing that we only have four to begin with, and three out of four is now a quorum. Well, uh, no, I think he's arguing that you that you only have four. One recuses himself. You only need a majority or uh, a quorum of the three that are that are present, and that's. That's not how quorums are typically uh, measured in any hearings that I've ever done. But that's quantum, not quorum. Quantum, quorum. But, but, uh, you, if you don't have a quorum, you can't have a vote. 
but you do have a quorum present at the hearing, which allows the board to act. But you don't have a quorum that was that a, 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 a quorum that has that has uh, been to all the hearings. So therefore, you don't. Hey, look, you want to go forward? Go forward. It's it is it is your application. It would may be subject to. I'm just telling you, it may be subject to, ch to challenge. And um, but you know, you are the applicant. You have the ability to request that that. Uh, that it not be continued, and and that the board may go forward and, and make a vote, knowing what you know. I would I would think with as much money is on the line here, I have provided you with a path that I think could be a quick, uh, a much quicker and a much safer way of getting what you wanted to do done, and that would be for you to, to, to take in all the comments that have been done by the peer reviewer, to put together your application to. Uh, withdraw the application and immediately resubmit it tomorrow. Notify it, notice it for, for seven days, hold another hearing, and then hopefully the Conservation Commission, since there really has been an awful lot of work done, could then make their determination. Uh, that way you would have a solid quorum of four who, had, who went to every, every hearing, brand new hearings, um, and the, 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 the uh, likelihood of challenge would, would be significantly reduced. But but again, you have counsel and you know clearly you you thought this thing through. I have just tried to provide you what I think is the quickest and best way to get where you needed to go. Absolutely. We understand that we, we really appreciate your input here. It's just that unfortunately I think the path that has been outlined is still um, it's not something we can execute and still have this project move towards advertisement and construction. The timeline's too tight. Um, so I think I'm now back to the commission. Is there a potential for a special hearing before the end of July? Yeah, wait a minute. The question that I have, how long has this process been started? I can remember going to a meeting like three or four years ago. Now you come before the commission and say, oh, hurry up, sign this so that we can go forward. That's wrong. It's I wrong. I don't care what anybody says. That is not right. You wait until the very end to say, hurry up and sign it. That's wrong. I understand that feeling. Uh, this was certainly never our intention, but nevertheless, it's unfortunately the situation that we found ourselves in. And I can only um, express the you know, what, what we're dealing with. I understand though that it, it seems, it's, it's an unfortunate situation, absolutely. Right. Did this happen before, at the other end of the uh, Route 9, when they did the other? No, it looks so well. I don't remember anything like this. <laughs> yeah, that's, see, that's, that's the problem I have with this whole thing. Wait until the very end and said, hey, how are we up and find this, because we got to go up the bid. You know, come on, deal with the program. I like I said I understand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, that's I just think it's a dirty rotten trick. I certainly never was any intention to deceive or try to force our will upon anyone. It's just the way some of these projects go. There are changes up until the last minute, and our goal is always to provide the commission with plans that reflect the final design. And if the design is changing, we try to keep up with those changes, and sometimes that pushes the submissions back. So I apologize that it is this late in the process, but. That's unfortunately where we've arrived. So, as what I hear it is, we have two options before the hearing. You close the hearing tonight and issue orders within 21 days. Or, no, no action. Or we continue it for another week or two. Do we want to make sure? You can't, uh, I think, uh, first of all, there's a question about whether we actually could issue orders because do we have a legal form? They're saying that yes, with three, but not tonight. Oh, it could be up in the 21 days. I would yes. have to do that yeah. before we could sit before down you could and even draft or vote. Correct. Yes. Yes. Before you could vote. So, I guess what I'm, the essence of what I'm saying is if there's potential for another hearing in July, we would be grateful to present uh, revised plans and comment responses. Uh, if that's not possible, if we can't have another hearing in July, then we will pursue um, closing tonight. 
so if the meeting, the next meeting in July, you're talking about like next week or something, you would have all the plans. We might be able to see them for maybe a couple days in advance. As soon as possible. As I, I mean, yeah. I've been working around the clock to sure. get everything revised. Yeah. Um, it still doesn't give us a lot of time. I mean, I trust our peer reviewers, and they would have to help us with the conditions. But I still have a question about whether three is three is not what we what we've been told is is more. And I don't know if the commission wants to do something that they don't believe is legal. Okay. Yeah. We can certainly see. Yeah. No, I, I know you're not. <laughs> Sorry to put you on the spot, yeah. because I know you've got enough going on. Um, we can certainly, if there is potential for another hearing in July, um, we would continue to that date and seek additional opinion from NASDAQ's legal team. Um, if there is not a possibility of that, then we would ask that the hearing be closed tonight, and that would begin the 21 day uh, period in which a decision could either be made, or if no decision is made, a superseding order would be pursued from DEB. So if we continued for a week, we'd at least have a little more time for you to figure out whether the three or four is correct for us to figure out more, whether it's correct. Potentially, Gary could review the missing meeting and at least make three out of the four, and we'd be able to come back and to make uh, more of a, a final decision on whether we could issue an order or, or not, I guess. Correct. Exactly. I think if that meeting is held, it gives us the opportunity to present you with that additional information. Uh, but certainly, again, if we close after that one, you still have that 21 days where you could mm -hmm. issue deny or, again, take no action. How does the rest of the board feel about having another meeting this month? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said we got another meeting this okay. time. So here's the scenario. A week from today the 20th is Tuesday. What if we review them a couple of days and maybe the Thursday we put out to meet on Tuesday to make sure we have enough time to review this? Uh, that makes yeah, sense. We, we, have, we can't have to be okay, so it's not a new meeting, you don't need another legal notice, but um, okay. So legally continue, correct? Yes. 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 Okay. So do we want to go a week or we want to have it a couple extra days because you're on a tight schedule. We need enough time to look at this too. Absolutely. We don't want to put you in a pinch. I don't want to go to the following week. Correct. Thursday. If we have to if we have to draft orders and conditions, I really want to get this accomplished before another our support staff leaves. Yes, right. We understand that's I mean again. That part that part of our priorities. I have no way to do that. Right. And there's no Clary on, on when a new support is. Yeah. He has a lot of background already. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> but we have to probably there on the 20th or the 22nd. I mean, I understand the 27th is. I think the 22nd gives us a little more time for them to finish well, up. Well, we can split it to the 21st. We just add one day. Um, would they work better for the board? Well, the 22nd is a little bit more. It's better for the board. It's better for the board. Yeah. Who's on the second? Right? Exactly. And that would be important, right? And can we meet earlier inside? Because you could track out? We can be present, though, to defer to the board. We're available at any time. What time? Six, six thirty. Well, when can you meet? I have, I have something that I What I would propose, and I'll ask somebody if they would agree, is we would continue this hearing tonight until Thursday, July 22nd at 6 30 p.m. It was for the time review. I'll watch the past meeting and hopefully we can close that night next. Or find out whether that we should. Or if we, have, if we find out some other legal reason why we can't. We can address that at the, at the hearing. And again, you know, we, Janice and I have exchanged a number of emails in the past week, so I'm sure there will be more. I want to uh, yeah. try to close this if we can while we saw Janice here finishes. Okay. And we'll, we'll provide, provide everything we can as soon as possible. I don't want to have to start up from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to do that to you. <laughs>
You promise? <laughs> I promise, I promise. Um, Make you another four hours like this. Have you guys even thought about the small wheel crossing whatsoever? Any updates on that? Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, the snowmobile crossing is it's a DCR, so that's no, that's where we're the crossing is the cross to the route nine, so that's DOT probably not DCR. Yeah, if we're, yeah, if we're, you're correct. If we're going to cross route nine on top. It's yeah, DOT. We're not. If we're going to cross through the tunnel, that's the DCR. That's what we're. I understand, that, but right now we don't have the DCR permission to go through the tunnel, so we have to go where we've been going since the seventies, right. which is over route nine. We can, uh, I can discuss it with the district and see how far we've gone. I know that I've seen a number of emails in the past year, I think, of what are the possibilities of crossing the nine safely. So, we can certainly discuss that. You can bring it up to the next meeting. Yep. I may bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, do we have to continue it? Yes. Yeah, so we can re You don't have to re-advertise, you have to continue with non-date service. Yes, that's okay. Otherwise, we have to re-advertise. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I missed that first part. Yes, you're right. That's okay. fine, I'm sorry. So is that a motion, or are you just saying? No, it was a discussion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I need someone to make a motion. I move that we continue. Is, is, is the word continue? Or yeah, continue. This uh, DOT NAF dot one. So next. The Thursday, July 22nd at 6.30 p.m. Yeah. So we want to be... So we got here. Yeah. And, and, and well, the senior center. I'll have a, I'll always have a call away from the discussion. Do we have a second? Uh, okay, before we vote, I have any further discussion? The question I have is we do meet here. Is that time available? Yes. Next yes. Thursday? Yes, and do we have to have town council again on Zoom for that meeting as well? We probably should. I can attend live if you if it would be. Um, um, I just had a conflict. I, I can be there live. It might be a little bit um, easier for everybody. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I think that's important. We have it back for that meeting as well. Absolutely. I will make myself absolutely available. Are you through? Find us some difficulties. Yeah. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Good. Okay. Thank you. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Same? Passes 4 0. Okay. Thank you all for your time tonight. Thank Thank you. Yes. We'll be in touch very <laughs> soon. Right. Are you guys cool with me? Do you want me to hang around? I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. We've done enough. I'll see you next week. Thank all right. You. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. All right. Do you want to back to this one of the minutes? I don't even You probably haven't read the minutes. I don't know. Did you? Uh, yeah. Any other topics that the wants to bring up while we're here? Well, the, 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 the town people know what happened at the select board meeting. Uh, so I think that if we're going to be on, on the zone, if we're going to be on the TV or something, I think there should be three synopsis of what happened. And to my knowledge, Weapon and it is infinite wisdom has decided to reduce the number of people on our board first to an odd number of five, no, then, six. then it was changed to six, yeah. an even number of people. Yeah. We, I, got a, I have a serious problem with that because we, a I long time too. ago, increased the board from five to seven for a number of reasons. One is making sure we have enough members that could attend site visits or we could have enough members that have a quorum for a meeting. Probably have now. When you have seven members, you need four. Three can be missing. You had to have. When you have five. Only two can be missing, not three. And when you go six, you have an odd number. You don't have a tie bridge. So there has to be an odd number five or seven. But we voted a long time ago to go five to seven. And a select board took it upon yourself to reduce the board without consulting us. And I think that was wrong. I did too. And they did it with the agenda of getting rid of the chair by reducing it from seven to six. How's the rest of the board feel? 
I think that if, the, if there was a problem with the commission, the next step should be to bring those complaints to the commission and say, these are the problems, how can we solve it? But we, they didn't do that. We were blindsided. We were totally. blindsided, totally. No complaints were ever brought to us. No. The board never had a chance to address the number of members as well as the complaints prior to their taking actions at that July 7th select board meeting. And I'm extremely upset with what happened. Right. I agree with you. I've been on this board for over 35 years. I'm the oldest member, dating back before Alexander Dawson. And uh, I'm very troubled with what happened. I'll address the board. Do you have any comments? Didn't even know what happened. No. They, uh, they chopped us off the knees. May I speak? Yes, you may be. The select board has asked for comments from individuals, and I think you might each write to the board as a whole and tell them how you feel, what you said tonight. Because they are only going on what they see in writing in front of them. And unfortunately, we didn't even have a chance to respond to those complaints. Yeah. We, have, we don't even know what the complaints are? Yeah. Um, we're trying to make sure that they can be actually produced. Those but of us who disagree with that. That should have been taken care of long before they decided to have that discussion on July 7th. Right. There was not a discussion of what the size of your committee yes. That is not. And it, it's in the minutes of a discussion. It mm -hmm. was not a discussion. I agree with you 100%, and uh, I don't know what to write. You tell me what to write. I have no idea. I don't know if I if I write it to the Board of Selectmen. I don't know if I write it to the uh, town administrator. If you uh, don't want me to get to the other, you can write them all to Carolyn, and just write what you feel about what happened. And it doesn't have to be fancy words. Just say how you felt the things you have said tonight. And let them know, but do it in writing, please. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you. Anything else we need to address this evening? No, I don't think so. In fact, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, well, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. And we'll be adjourned. There you go. No further discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.